everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Ashley, I post videos weekly of things that I'm interested in or things that are going on in the world that I have an opinion on. Today's video was highly requested and when I say highly, I mean like two people. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about the disappearance of Tanya Burr on her YouTube channel, Not In Real Life. Well, maybe. <laughs> if you don't know who Tanya Burr is, she is a British beauty vlogger. Well, at least she was. Tanya hasn't actually uploaded a video on her channel in at least a year, and her channel has appeared to have died. Tanya started her YouTube channel back in 2009, and over the years, she had actually gained millions of subscribers, and I believe it was in 2015 when her channel peaked. But since then, she has been losing subscribers and views, and obviously now she doesn't upload, so she doesn't get any of them. Tanya was also married to another famous YouTuber called Jim Chapman and if you haven't heard of him well that's because his channel died off too but that's for another video. During Tanya's career as a YouTuber she was quite successful with makeup lines, advent calendars and she also brought out a book but we all know how YouTuber books go. You know ghostwriter using her name for clout like all that jazz. So why did this much loved YouTuber vanish off the platform? Well first of all, Tanya had been doing YouTube for about 10 years and doing anything for 10 years it really does drag on you and if she's bored she's not going to make good content and if she's not making good content people aren't going to be watching it. So she may have just wanted to move on to something new. In 2017 Tanya began to pursue a career in acting. I wondered if this was around the time that her channel started to drop in views. However, I couldn't really tell because it appears that she has deleted many videos on her channel. I'm not too sure if she has. That's just what I think because there's not as many videos as you'd think for having like 3.4 million subscribers. Now, I haven't actually seen any videos of Tanya acting before researching for this video because believe it or not, I actually have to research. I can't just make all this up in my brain. I'm not that smart. And can I just say for the least, her acting is very questionable. Here are just some comments that I found on a clip of Tanya acting. I wonder if she realises there's a difference between being an actress and an extra. I feel a bit sorry for her. It's all so embarrassing. And sorry, she should stick to YouTube. She has zero talent for acting and it's painful to watch. They may be a bit harsh, but you'd be thinking that too if you've seen this. God, I love your jeans. Do you mind if I? Nah. So you've got what, like 2 million followers on Instagram? 2.3. Ah, uh, 2.3. Another reason why Tanya might have stopped YouTube is her divorce. So Tanya and Jim met in 2007 and they got married in 2015 and their divorce was in 2019. I mean, any breakup is tough to go through, but being with someone for 12 years, doing everything with them, working with them, is a big difference to doing that all on your own. And the whole reason Tanya even started YouTube was because of Jim's sisters. So that might have played some sort of decision in her stopping YouTube. In my opinion, I've always been put off Tanya by her jumping project. One day she'd be a baker, then she'd want to be a YouTuber, an actress, an author. That's like me having a makeup line, a skiing shop, and then a hair dye company because I like all those things. Just because you have a bit of money, I don't think you should turn every hobby into a business idea. And at the end of these projects, if that's what you want to call them, she just sort of pushed them aside so she could start a new one. There wasn't any explanation or a video explaining why she's moving on from this project or why she's stopping it. And it definitely appears that she thinks she's too good for YouTube. At least her videos are still up so her subscribers can still watch them. Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. It would honestly mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!